The Last Chance V5 mod just dropped, and it has an interesting backstory. The main antagonist of this mod is named Zygo, and he is from a series of fan games that include Sonic's 2.exe, Sunshine.exe, and Insanity.exe, all of which were created by a creator named Novaware. And Zygo is a demonic type creature that is very similar to Sonic's.exe, and in the lore of this fan game, Zygo is basically the reason that Sonic.exe exists at all. But in order for this to make sense, you need to understand the full story, and it goes like this. In the Sonic 2.exe fan game, Sonic had to defeat Silver Sonic and collect all the Chaos Emeralds in order to save Tails, who had been captured by Dr. Eggman. But Sonic was actually not able to get all the Emeralds before Dr. Eggman actually got to him and collected them himself. And he did this in order to create what he called the Ultimate Weapon. And seeing that he was defeated, Sonic actually ran away and left Tails to die, which if you know Sonic at all, is very out of character for him. But that's not even the strangest thing in this story. The story gets really weird when Tails finds a mirror that seems to be possessed by an evil spirit called Zalgo. And it seems that this spirit might actually be a way for Tails to escape Dr. Eggman. But what we learn later is that Zygo and Eggman were actually working together this whole time in order to find a body for Zygo to possess so that he can actually come to the real world and send his victims to his dimension. Which looks like a old school Mario level but in black and white. Now once Zygo is able to actually possess Tails and send him to the shadow world, we learn a few things. One being that he cannot actually die while he's in the shadow world unless Zygo kills him himself. But he still can feel pain and things in this world can kill him, but if it's not Zygo, he'll simply respawn. We also learn that the reason that Eggman took the deal with Zygo is because he promised to kill Sonic for Dr. Eggman, but he actually ended up betraying him and destroying his lab. Zago then heads over to find Sonic, showing us that he never really had any loyalty to begin with, he simply wants to stir up chaos. And he does just that when he sends Sonic to the Shadow World as well. Once both Sonic and Tails are in the Shadow World, Zygo returns and tries to kill Tails, but is not actually able to catch him. But this does give Sonic time to actually team up with Dr. Eggman so that they can come up with a plan to defeat Zygo. And when playing the game, there are two possible endings. The canon ending is when Tails finds Sonic standing in front of the fake Tails, and then the real Tails rushes over and pushes the fake into a wall of spikes, which we actually see in the FNF mod here. But this is also where we learn that Zygo has swapped bodies with Sonic, creating a new creature called Sonic.exe, which of course isn't actually Sonic.exe's backstory, but it's simply like the canon for the game. Now the non-canon ending actually shows Dr. Eggman coming up with a plan to trap Zygo's spirit into a harmless body so that he can no longer hurt people. And the team is able to trick Zygo into entering the body of a Tails doll, which of course is supposed to be the origin of how Tails doll actually came into the world. And with that, the game ends with Sonic and Tails going home, but Eggman staying behind with the doll, trying to figure out a way that he can actually use it to kill Sonic in the future. Which implies that there may be some more parts coming to this story in the near future. And for the people curious, this version of Sonic right here that's super large and like skeletal, I think this is just supposed to be like a version of Beast Sonic, which is basically a monstrous version of Sonic.exe. And I think moreover, it's really just to show that even though Zygo and Sonic.exe can take the form of like our heroes and humanoids and whatnot, their true form is definitely more monstrous and more demonic. But with that being said, make sure to check out one of these videos on the screen here. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and we'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace, peace.